Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Factorio the Island. My name, of course, is Orbital Potato. All right, we got a couple of things that we need to try and accomplish today. First amongst them is somebody very, very kindly pointed out that uh, the reason that I'm not getting more resources onto this belt, or onto this belt, should I say, is because this belt was the old crummy old belt. And it was. It really, really was. And uh, that's no longer acceptable. We're, we're doubling things up. That's very, very good. We're also going to upgrade this bit of belt and this bit of belt. And we do not have enough for the fast underground belt, so we're going to get the resources for that. Just jogging on the spot for a little bit for the fun of it. Hey-ho. And yeah, fingers crossed this should help us really, really, really speed things up. Quite substantially, actually. Um, yeah, that's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm hoping anyway. Should make things a little bit easier uh, and a little bit more efficient, so to speak. All right, so we talked a little bit in the last episode about how we want to get construction robots. And that is something that I still really, 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 really want to do. Let's get this all sped up. Just If in doubt, fucking speed it up. <laughs> like there's no... There's, uh, you know, there's no shame in just speeding it up the whole time. There we go. That should help a little bit more. Do you want to get a fast splitter? I would get a fast splitter if we had the resources for it, but we don't. So, that kind of sucks. Maybe we just ditch this, actually. I mean, we ditch it for now. We'll eventually have to get it back, but... Upgrade that. Yeah, that should that should help a little bit. Maybe th Maybe that won't help. Maybe I'm being a complete idiot. Let's go and get some more iron, and then we will see if it helps. As in, more iron plate, that is. Alright, so yeah. Construction robots are something that I would really, really love. But I, I fear, however, that to get construction robots, we are going to first have to upgrade the number of furnaces that we've actually got. So, I've come up with a compromise, folks. I've come up with a compromise. And this is what I think is, is going to happen. Yeah, that's good. Ugh. Really? Seriously? Oh well, I can build another one. That's fine. Okay, so here's the compromise. What we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna go for a layout very very similar to this, right? So we're we're basically gonna get a whole bunch more furnaces into a certain area, uh, and then we're gonna just replicate that all the way around. And then when it eventually comes time for us to get our construction robots, then whoop de doo, we'll already have a fantastic uh, a fantastic blueprint with uh, with which we can copy, which is kind of nice. I don't know why it's frozen right now. It's uh, mid autosave, which is not great. Doesn't fill me with a huge amount of confidence, but there we go. We're back in business. All right. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. And we're going to be pursuing a whole bunch of steel furnaces. That's pretty much what's going to happen. I don't know if it's going to happen well, but it's, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Yeah. I think we're starting to get a little bit less iron coming from this area now. Ah, we've also got uh, a little bit of a power shortage. Which I actually think, unfortunately, has to be our first port of call. Yeah, I hate, I hate, I really, really hate dicking around with power and whatnot. But we have to. We really, really do. Uh, and it and it sucks. It sucks so hard having to to do this. But we need to. We need to. We can't just, you know, be uh, be forgetful about our power situation for the entirety of the rest of history of everything, so to speak. Uh, we can also start building some steel furnaces because that is what we're going to do. We've got 12 furnaces. Uh, I think the ratio is 14 to 10. So I'll build two more. And then I'll just build a whole bunch of steam engines because why not? Collect up all of this iron and 10 steam engines coming right up. Thank you very much. And an offshore pump. That's what we need. All right. Question is, how do we want to implement it? Well, you know, there is the traditional, uh, the traditional approach, which I quite like to take. It's not very traditional, but it's it's interesting to say the least, uh, and it involves doing the the combo wombo, so to speak, of uh, of of inserter to inserter action. I quite like it. I think it's quite exciting. So I guess we're gonna do it. I don't know why it should be any better or any worse than anything else. It's just good enough. You know, it's. It's satisfactory for, for the purposes that we need. I'll queue up a whole bunch of stuff. There we go. 
I really don't like how there's uh, there's alerts constantly going on. It is, uh, it's a little bit pesky. A little bit pesky. There we go. Pick up you, pick up you, and pick up you. Ah, oh, shit. There. Yeah, fine. Uh, unfortunately, we're going to have to go for... Well, let's think of this. this. Yeah, that's how that works. Yeah, the... The odd inserters always have to be a little bit funny, but hey-ho. Do we even need that? We don't even need these poles here. What am I talking about? We don't even need them. It's a, it's a Christmas miracle. Oh my goodness, Potato, what are you doing? What an idiot. What an utter, utter idiot. There we go. Oh my goodness. And now we go for... Oh my god, really? Seriously? Oh, you know what we can build, actually, just quickly? A steel axe. Yeah. Steel axe. Replace that old crummy axe. Uh, and yeah, we'll just leave that in there just for a backup. Just in case. It's not that much faster, I suppose, is it? I'm used to I'm used to playing on like a modded game where your uh, your axes do do so many times more uh, more uh, more of an effect than they they do in the base game. But you know what? It's okay. Uh, I can I can cope with it. Get some pipe set up because I would like some pipe, and we need it to connect the water up to this uh, to this area. One more piece of pipe. One more piece of pipe. That'll do. That'll do us just fine and dandy. Thanks very much. And fingers crossed. Booyah! We're looking at uh, at a massive power surplus, which is flipping awesome. Fingers crossed that's going to have uh, a really really positive effect on pretty much the entirety of the factory. I hope it will. I'll collect all this steel up. <sighs> yeah, I would I would actually really like to buffer this. We might have to redesign this so I can just buffer it. Because oh, it's so shit that we can't buffer it. It's really, really bad. It means that we just don't have that production there when we need it. Which is a little bit shit, actually. We could go for, like, a really interesting approach to buffering. Could do that. Side buffering. Yeah. Let's do that. That looks flipping badass, doesn't it? Holy cow. That totally looks badass. What do, what do you mean it doesn't look badass? Of course it looks badass. You. Uh, I'll take half of you and you. And I'll put all the coal in here. Perfect. Yeah, let's do this. Let's uh, let's implement this uh, this new buffering system right now. Executive order. Potato is unveiling the new buffer system, and it's going to change the world. It's actually kind of nice because it uh, it gives you a much more compact setup, which is kind of cool. Like, I didn't think that I would uh, I would actually say this, but I'm actually kind of proud of something that I've done, chums. In fact, we don't even have to. We could just do that. Yeah, we could just do that. I mean, holy cow. Swap you around. Yeah, there, there. And there. Yeah, and we're we're suddenly sitting pretty. How awesome is that? That is badass. Let's rejig this a little bit. Boom. Er, boom. Yep. Yeah. Wow, this is amazing. I cannot believe it. This is actually the craziest thing that I think is I've 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 ever done. Like genuinely, I think it is. Uh that's not right. This needs to be moved over a little bit. Yeah. Oh well. It's not gonna look unbelievably pretty. Oh no. Let's move this over a little bit. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I created this system, but well, I didn't probably create the system. Somebody's already probably created the system. Um, I quite like it. I think it's quite cool. I dig it. I really, really do. Boom. And boom. There we go. Fantastic. So we should be able to buffer. And now it just looks flippin' epic, doesn't it? Holy cow. All right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take you up. I'm going to put you down there, and I'm going to get this one and put it there. Just to be on the safe side, I would imagine that if any chest gets a lot of resources in it, then it would be this one. So we'll make sure that it's an iron chest anyway. 
All right, what a fantastic start we're off to. We have we have crazily changed that up. I love it. I love it. I actually really like the look at this this place. It's looking really really hipster. Very very nice. Very very nice indeed. Um, let's build a couple more bricks because I would imagine that we need them. Our bricks. What am I talking about? Walls. Yeah, we've got. Uh, wow, the chest is almost out of ammo. Who would have thought it? That's insane. I did not realize that we were running out of ammo that quick. Look at how many. Look at how many bloody brick walls that these guys have actually eaten through. That's insane. That is. That is impressive. Let's put up some more defenses just to be on the safe side. Yeah, I mean, that's a lot of that's a lot of brick to eat through. I mean, they ate through about 10 walls. Wow. All right, that's, that's crazy impressive, actually. Uh, let's go for some research just to make sure that our turrets aren't, uh, aren't super, super weak. I think that that's probably something that we should do. Gun turret damage. Yeah, I think we need it. I think we need it. Oh, we'll get the second one as well. Uh, and probably, can we get shooting speed? Is that a thing that we can do? No, we don't need lasers. Don't need lasers. Is gun turret shooting speed something that you can that you can change? Well, whatever. Gun turret upgrade two is uh, or gun turret gun turret damage upgrade two is is good enough for me. And that'll be done over the course of the next two minutes. Fingers crossed. And, you know, it's always good to make sure that our factory is still capable of producing uh, producing some flasks. It's it's not very often that we test it out. Anyway, let's get some steel furnaces. We need to do this. We need to up our iron production. Um, take some of those belts just to be on the safe side. Take a little bit of inserterage, and uh, fingers crossed we'll be able to to do some good stuff. Oh no 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 no! I was gonna upgrade these, but I accidentally ended up clicking on landmines. Uh, and do we want some some inserters, some fast inserters for this job? I think we might want some fast inserters for this job. Let's try it. Let's see if fast inserters make a substantial difference. I don't know if they actually will, um, but they'll at least make somewhat of a difference. I, I don't think it's going to be a very good difference because all they'll do is swallow the iron a little bit faster than they would have otherwise. Than they would have otherwise. Yeah, potato. That makes sense. Good. So, just to reiterate, what we want is what we want to see is that we want to see. You know, we don't want to see any bits of iron or copper. Um, you know, actually on the belt. You know, that's not something that we really want to see. But currently, we're seeing it, and that's not a good sign. So, we're going to have to do something about that. Okay. Perfect. That's the design that we had over here. And we just need to add you in there. You in there. And now we just need to insert this bad boy up. Pretty simple, right? Yeah, of course. Pretty simple. There and there. Oh, that's not good. That's not what we wanted. Absolutely not what we wanted. Um, oh, perfect. That is a that is a beautifully placed pole. I like that a lot. There we go. You work. There we go. All right. That should make things uh, a little bit better. Extend you by one. Gun turret damage. Two. Research. Beautiful. That's fine. Just so that we can have that little bit of extra security. Um, because I don't want to get my uh, my booty shot off, so to speak. All right. We producing. Everybody producing. Pretty much everybody's producing right now, which is kind of nice. Uh, and don't forget that the, the whole layout that we've gone for here should mean that we can with relative ease and um, just upgrade our number of furnaces and uh, you know suddenly we'll be we'll be cooking with electricity so to speak I'll add you on there there we go uh, big one there perfect I mean it's a bit of a mess cable wise but you know for the most part it ain't looking too bad it ain't looking too bad at all and that was only a couple of furnaces. We haven't even got down to, to half the fun yet. That's not even finished. Um, I took a little bit of fast belt for a reason. 
I'm gonna speed up the fast. I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. You know, we've already fast belted the the main the main bit, so to speak. So I feel that we should probably take precautions and fast belt this too, just so that we're actually just so that we're getting that speed that we actually need. Yeah, that can be stuck in there. Could build one of those. Yeah, I'll take a fast inserter, please. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And we need some more iron. Well, coincidentally, we're right next to the iron belt. So we'll be able to pick it up with uh, with relative ease. Speed that up. And as soon as we've got the ability to do so, we're going to place down the belt here. Or place down the upgraded fast belt here. And upgraded. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, we've got a problem here. We've got a real problem here. This problem can be fixed, I think, with relative ease. Uh, we're going to need another fast splitter, though, I think. We're also probably going to need another fast splitter over here. I think I want to get into the habit of trying to use splitters to join up lines rather than just joining them up. I think that's a wiser choice. Yeah, I think that, that is a wiser choice. But we're getting to the stage where we need to fast belt this anyway, so it's going to be fast belted. Uh, and then the splitter can go here. Perfect. And that really should mean that we will have no problems. I mean, this area is fine. This area is all fine. Yeah, pretty much every area is fine at this current moment in time. Good to see. Good to see. Very, very good to see indeed. Uh, now I think that the issue is more of a uh, a raw input resource issue rather than uh, not enough not enough furnaces. I mean, look at how many furnaces we're actually using over here. It's good that we're using more. You know, we're using about six at a high time, at peak time, but, you know, six isn't a huge number anyway. Uh, we do have a couple more furnaces to install over here, which does need to be done. There, there. Have I misplaced this? Should be able to get three furnaces in. Perfect. That's good. No, no, no. That's fine. I, I thought I'd... Uh, I'd mucked something up, but turns out, no, I hadn't. I was right all along. I love that feeling of being right all along. It is, it is lovely. Um, you in there, you in there, you out there, you out there, you out there, you out there, you over there. Yeah, that's fine. It's good enough. Now, power to everywhere, please, would be lovely. Yeah, there. Uh, what about a... What about a medium electric pole? How many of those can we install? Two. We install two and it's all fine? Yeah, you know what? I think that that's not too bad. Get it? Because we installed two. It's not too bad. Yeah, I hate myself. Um, there we go. That should be fine. Perfect. Now we're really cooking with gas. Do I really need to pick you up? For realsies? That is a little bit of a problem sometimes. It uh, the, the inserter holds a material that you really shouldn't be holding, but he holds it anyway. But hey-ho. Yeah, I think now we're going to get into the stage of we just have nowhere near enough resources actually coming into this area to uh, to deal with, with all of the, the production capability that we actually have. I think that's going to be a problem. I really, really do. I really, really do. Hmm. I don't know how we're going to solve that, actually. Probably it's going to involve training around uh, half the freaking wilderness. But I only want to start doing that after we've got uh, those construction robots. So I guess construction robots really is the next stage. I mean, I've been putting it off for as long as possible. But I think it has to be the next stage. The sorting system is looking good. It's ripe for expansion, expanding it along this way, should we need to, which we don't yet. Um, you know, but we might need to eventually, depending on uh, a whole bunch of things. But anyway, ladies and gents, hopefully you've enjoyed this episode of Factorio the Island. And until next time, my name, of course, has been Old Potato. And uh, yeah, bye.